Seventh house is a very important house and seventh lord is a very important planet. And as we have seen in the last video, that seventh house is not only concerned to marriage only, right? It is related to many, many other areas as well. So, keeping that in mind, how does the seventh lord play into different houses? First of all, if the seventh lord goes into ascendant, in that scenario, what I have seen, primarily coming to the topic of marriage, what I have seen that these people, Lagna Lord in 7th house or 7th Lord in Ascendant, these people are fairly successful in their marriage. Many a times you see that one have very bad combinations in their horoscope, but still their marriage is at least sustaining. Or you can say it is satisfactory. This is generally because either the native himself or their life partner is either having Lagna Lord in 7th house or 7th Lord in Lagna Ascendant. So this is what I have seen that if the Ascendant Lord is going into 7th house or 7th Lord is going into Ascendant, person generally have at least satisfactory marital life. And the blemish created by malefic planets in the 7th house of either the native or of the life partner is greatly taken care of. Provided the fact that the matchmaking is good, remember that this particular combination Ascendant Lord in 7th house or 7th Lord in Ascendant can only take care of one of the afflictions either afflictions to 7th house or the afflictions in matchmaking. If both the afflictions are there, then in these cases also there can be problems. Other than that, because seventh, when 7th seventh Lord goes to Ascendant, you have a very dedicated, devoted life partner who does a lot of sacrifices for you. And they are just like, you know, they are just like shadow in your life. They support you into everything, whatever you do. Sometimes I have seen that the life partner may be complaining. But at the end of the day, they always stand with you. They always help you. They understand you. And generally in life, you know, they are partner in this particular sense that in everything they want to do 50-50 with you. Right. So they completely help and support you. Right. But because the life partner is just like you. Right. Sometimes the misunderstandings can be there because see, generally in life partner, what we want that either the life partner should be more powerful than us or, you know, we want the other personality, right? The, like the life partner, if we are angry, if one person is short tempered, life partner should be calm, controlled. This thing is not there. So because of this particular reason, because the native and the life partner have the same type of nature, behavior, characters and traits. Though they enjoy things together with each other, but when it comes to the complementary part, it is somehow, you know, like life partner is a very good companion, but not a very good complement. That is what happens in this particular scenario. And except for marriage, in the matters of sexuality, seventh lord in the ascendant person is very good into sexuality. They can well satisfy their life partners. Right. And these people are also, you see, if they live in their birth land, if they live near their birthplace, then they are not very successful. These people should strongly consider their place of residence or specifically their place of work. Because see, you are born in a particular city and provided the fact that your mother and father have a normal job, have a normal livelihood, you will send, spend your young years in that city itself. Later on for job and for the prospects of profession, people generally change their city where they live. So at this point of time, the person should choose their own place of residence somewhere other than their birthplace. Only then it is good. Otherwise it is not. Generally when there is seventh Lord in the ascendant, people have a lot of travel. A lot of traveling is there in their life. So either they love traveling or they have a job or profession that is traveling or because of some other reason like family members living far away, they will have to constantly travel. So this particular thing is there and this particular combination also comes with health issues. Many a times I have seen that because of this combination, person meets with accidents early in life because of which, uh, you know, some body parts may be dislocated or some permanent health issues can be there right from the childhood, which can be difficult to cope up with. Other than that, this combination is very good. Right. And the person provided the fact that he's living at places other than their, other than his birthplace, the person is very successful. Living at the birthplace can be a little bit problematic. When the seventh Lord is going into 12th house, see, this is not a very, very good combination as such. So marital life at any given point of time is non-satisfactory. 
generally marital life is bad so when the setup is good you see two type of results can be there good results can be there bad results can be there so when the planet is into a good condition seventh lord going into second house is in good condition on rashi mul trikon vargottam etc mind the word etc right then good combination then good results will be primarily there and when the seventh lord in second house is in a difficult condition then bad situations will be there right so i will be focusing on either good or bad conditions and i am pretty sure that you people are intellectual enough that you can convert bad to good or good to bad vice versa that you can do right so at least have that level of mind in your head yeah so seventh lord going into second house financial benefit is there from the life partner that is there like you see life partner can belong from a rich or well to do family which can come to your support or life partner can be working right so financial support is there from the life partner that is without any doubt but generally because of family there is problem in marriage also this is not very good for marital life happiness generally when the seventh lord in the second house is afflicted in a bad condition it leads to divorce in any case separation for long and complaints with each other is always there when the seventh lord goes into second house generally such people earn good money through associations with people associations in a friend circle partnership with people they earn good money generally such people if they take their family profession they are also very successful these people also have good knowledge at least they can be told as intelligent it is a very good combination for book writing poetry and all of these things but problems related to you know problems because of eating stale food expired food problems related to eyes problems related to throat problems related to speaking can be there financial condition is a little bit weak fluctuating though these people get much inheritance but to sustain that inheritance and make good use of it is very difficult right and the marital life is ridden with ups and downs and multiple separations very often in many cases it can when the seventh lord is afflicted as i told you it can convert into permanent separation also but other than that it is not a very good setup for the seventh lord to be in in this particular scenario when the seventh lord is going into second house person when they live in a joint family they don't do well so these people after marriage should live alone with their life partners and children then it is good otherwise it is not being very much clinged to their family you know taking every decisions after consulting the family and not having their own say is great detriment to their life so that should not be done when the seventh lord is going into third house it is not a very very good setup as such seventh lord in third house the life partner is very religious the life partner follows dharma but somehow the native is not very religious and many a times i have seen that when the seventh lord goes into third house flirting affairs etc outside marriage is very common nor generally in these cases there are much fights verbal physical fights verbal arguments etc are there in marriage which makes the experience very bitter lots of ups and downs in life because of marital issues like you know like bad relationship with you say a particular fight in home making your uh, you know making you forcing you to behave in a bad way in office which later on you know results into your termination from the job or other such bad results can very often happen though the life partner is very good but because of ups and downs and because of the immaturity of the couple to deal with the deal with certain circumstances in life these problems come up other than this generally because of siblings and because of friends there are issues in marital life many a times i have seen that such people are more worried about their life partner and siblings much worried about their sorry much worried about their uh, friends and uh, siblings then their life partners which creates much issues in marriage many ups and frequent ups and downs are there and many a times you know like i will not say that knowingly but unknowingly many a times people while dealing with their life partner talking with their life partner or you know arguing with their life partner they cross their limit and hurt their life partner badly which is very bad 
frequent outing frequent trips with life partner is a very good remedy if the native and the life partner both are working then the bad results are you know controlled to a great extent investment of money on the advice of the life partner or giving a freehold to life partner in the matters of money can create some issues and challenges as well you should be careful about that these people should be very careful while traveling meeting with accidents theft etc while traveling can be very common right because of uh, siblings siblings also more or less become financial liability these people have to spend a lot of money on their friends as well they are very prone to accidents and wounds about which they should be very very careful and they do well in those you know they do well in those jobs where there is stability fixed fixed desk job kind of jobs they are good into if they do a lot of traveling because of their profession then it becomes bad for their health also it becomes bad for their marriage as well so this is something that they should be very very careful about when the seventh lord goes into fourth house as you may have known from my videos this is a love marriage combination generally people do love marriage if they don't do love marriage then in that case also they marry the life partner that they want generally these people have a live in relationship before marriage also or they can have a long live in relationship with their life partner with their spouses only like before marriage marital life is more or so very good but problems because of family and family members are there some you know some losses related to property can be there because of the life partner about which one should be careful accidents because of vehicles can be there bad investments in properties and vehicles are also there these people should try to live around their birthplace near their birthplace only if they live far away from their birthplace then it is not very good for their success the more stability and fixity they have in their life better it is much travel is not very good in their life additionally these people can suffer the complications related to heart breathing heart breathing and chest about which they should be careful they love their life partners a lot their life partners also love them a lot and no matter what happens at least there is love and understanding between the couple they also care a lot for each other and in this type of setup generally after marriage there is great rise of luck and fortune and with mutual support of each other the couple grows a lot the only problem that i have seen that many a times when the seventh lord and fourth house is afflicted one can be highly ignorant of their life partner and the advices that their life partner may give them which becomes very detrimental for these people so that should never be done and family members generally become a problem in marriage so you have to draw a line about the limitations of the family members with respect to marriage and limitations of the life partner with respect to their entry in family matters if you can make the border very clear then it will be good otherwise there will be problems generally it is a setup for good happy marriage where the life partner is completely dedicated and devoted to you and there is love sexual enjoyment and good achievements together when the couple is with each other the only thing that is needed is reciprocation of mutual love and respect otherwise this combination can go wrong when the seventh lord goes into fifth house or fifth lord goes into seventh house it is a setup where i say that people should not marry these people should not marry i am using the word should not marry because generally in these cases what i have seen that after marriage life partners may have affairs outside marriage so this is one thing is this a love marriage combination absolutely no in this type of marriage why i am saying that they should not marry because just after marriage though their understanding initially is good but later on they start suffering financial professional and other problems and as they live with each other the problems increase only specifically if they happen to have child then as their children grow up problems in their marital life increase and these problems are not psychological behavior here problems which can be taken control of but these are serious financial and other financial professional problems which cannot be easily taken care of so that should not be done and even when the people when these people have children their children also don't do well and they are more of a liability rather than asset other than this so you know for marital life this is not very very good 
right and after marital life the, the conditions are bad this should be taken care of other than that when the seventh lord goes into fifth house problems related to stomach problems related to digestion problem related to you know kidney large intestine small intestine can be there one should be careful about it in sexuality these people are very good in fact they have high libido which can sometimes compel them to have extra marital affairs also these people gain good amount of money through their life partners but all these money will be lost or you know will go into disdain so this particular problem is there only in few cases this combination can be told to be good the best remedy for seventh lord and fifth house is you don't have children because if you have children then it is a very pathetic combination problems happen if the seventh lord is going into fifth house and person does not have children in that particular scenario marital life is satisfactory right but still the financial problems ego clashes fights not understanding each other living in the same home like strangers these things are there but if these people decide not to have children then slowly slowly financial conditions become okay okay and people also you know compromise on these conditions that i have just told you so it can be told at like okay okay like you know like you know like there is at least one or two reason to live with the life partner i will not use the word good or satisfactory but there are few reasons to live with the life partner and only when people belong from a traditional background or they have an orthodox thinking they can survive such marriage otherwise it does not you know holds good this combination does not hold good for marriage as such when the seventh lord goes into sixth house of course you know this is not a very good setup so either the life partner is very much diseased because of which they cannot fulfill their responsibilities and you also cannot enjoy your marital life be it sexuality or spending time together or anything else so this becomes a problem and if there is not health if there is not health issue because health issue is a good condition at least love care support is there if the seventh lord is going into sixth house and health condition is not bad then in that particular scenario the native and the life partner are almost inimical towards each other the love that is there soon fades and fights arguments disagreements increase day by day to such a great extent that sometimes these people are like you know just inimical towards each other in the best condition of the seventh lord and sixth house because best condition can also be there when exaltation influence of good planets etc come in the best condition life partner greatly helps you come over all the miseries obstacles and challenges in life and you get such a life partner who is life partner in bed business partner in business and like you know a partner in true sense helping you into everything and in good conditions seventh lord and sixth house will indicate a life partner who is like you know very who is like soul in your life like without the person you cannot do anything and the person is of great support both mentally emotionally financially physically in all the matters life partner is a great great support and if you listen to life partner you can greatly succeed in life but generally in such marriages i have seen because of outside people because of extended family of relatives because of servants etc problems in marriage can come affair with servants affair with you know office employees etc can be there when the seventh lord is afflicted in the sixth house so that should be taken care of if there is a little bit of health problem to the native or to the life partner after marriage that depends on whether the lagna is afflicted or not only in that scenario seventh lord and sixth house is good otherwise life partner can behave inimical towards each other and it can lead to divorce separation as well when the seventh lord is going into sixth house one should have a fixed life avoid traveling avoid settling to other places otherwise there can be problems generally such people have much mental stress phobia fear of things etc because of which they should first of all follow spirituality good practices like meditation etc they should follow following a guru following a book reading bhagavad gita consuming spiritual texts spiritual dialogues is highly recommended and while keeping your employees or while keeping servants at home you should be very careful otherwise they can you know they can commit theft burglary or other such things so you should be careful about it and while traveling etc also they should be very careful as they are very probable to meet with unfortunate events while traveling as such
problems related to spine problem related to intestine problem related to excretion problem related to sitting standing can also be there so the strength of bones specifically spine is something that they should take extreme care of when the seventh lord goes into seventh house it is a combination for more than one marriage generally such people have relationships before marriage also and these people i have seen generally have relationships after marriage as well outside marriage also and generally these people will have affairs and relationships with you know the family members of their colleagues or family members of their distant relatives etc generally they have or any type of like you know you cannot be specified just from this combination that seventh lord is in seventh house which rashi which planet influences etc this also you have to check but affairs before marriage and affairs after marriage is very very common in that case when the seventh lord in seventh house is also afflicted or eighth house is afflicted or lagma is having influence of malefic planets then in that particular scenario person because of his enjoying nature having extra marital affairs outside marriage etc their marriage breaks and then they go for a second marriage in that particular scenario when everything is good seventh lord in seventh house is also not afflicted lagna is also not afflicted eighth house is also not afflicted in that particular scenario person have affairs and relationships before marriage which does not convert into marriage person gets married to someone else and live successfully right so either of this setup can happen but generally seventh lord and seventh house indicates more than one marriage in both the marriages there is good sexual enjoyment good support from the life partner good understanding from the life partner right in normal cases when the seventh lord is very good and the seventh house is having much of rajas influence lagna is having influence of malefic planets in that particular scenario marriage breaks because of affairs etc of the native in those cases when the seventh lord in seventh house is afflicted lagna is afflicted eighth house is very heavy in that particular scenario despite the enjoyment in marital life and all of these things because of the affairs or major negative points of the life partner major negative traits behavioral traits or other such traits of the life partner marriage generally breaks but till the time they remain in marriage they enjoy sexuality a lot and until and unless you know they go and commit extra marital affairs and this becomes known to the other person their marital life is also very good and enjoyable right but as they know like good and enjoyable means like life partner supports each other give good advice to each other and following good advices of each other they succeed in life also until and unless the news breaks out now you see this is a particular point where free will generally comes into play and if anyone knows astrology properly and they also have self control then they can see their combination they can check the result of the combination and then they can control themselves then they can control themselves from doing this particular thing which will be of the great help as you already know right other than that seventh lord in seventh house there are lot of travels in life person generally have good money and lives a tension free life so that they can have you know breaks in life and go to you know travel this is a travel nomadic lifestyle which they enjoy a lot along with that with seventh lord and seventh house there are lots of ups and downs in life you say four or five years are very good very prosperous very peaceful next four or five years are very disturbed very problematic person also have a host of people around them who are jealous who pose as well wishers but actually are jealous and try to create problems and disturbances in the life of the native about which they should be careful they generally have their very strong enemies who can you know create great harm to them so these people better that they should avoid any type of fighting or anything as such when seventh lord is in seventh house the person is very virtuous the person is very soft spoken they generally do not become angry very easily and they are motivated by the force of charity so these good qualities are there and because of these qualities only bad people of the society or people who have you know something else in their mind and something else in their mouth right people who have the dual characters these people become jealous of them and many a times because these people is very virtuous their enemies because they cannot meet meet them in their virtues can go to any extent to provide you know to, to harm them so this is something about which they should be careful problems related to excretion problem related to bones and health problems because of lack of or you say because of you know like yeah lack of vitamins and minerals etc in the body 
can be problematic. So about these things, the people should be careful. And generally when there is seventh Lord in seventh house, specifically being a malefic or when there are many malefic planets in the seventh house, then generally problems which change your lifestyle, right? For example, breakage of bones, etc. That also happens in life about which people should be careful. When seventh Lord goes into eighth house and it is in a good condition, great financial help comes from the life partner. And the family of the life partner is also very good. And there is great support from the family of the life partner as well. The couple lives together happily till the end of the life and they love each other to such a great extent that they can do anything for each other. When the seventh Lord in eighth house goes into a bad condition, then marital life is full of misfortune and unfortunate events. Right. Bad luck is there in marriage and no matter how hard they try to love each other, be with each other, do something for each other, something or the other thing always creates an issue because of which there is a misunderstanding. Because of misunderstanding, there are fights and as a repercussions of fights, separations both temporary and permanent generally happen. Other than that, when the seventh Lord is afflicted in the eighth house because of health problems also, one cannot enjoy marital life properly. And because of liabilities of family, profession, and because of the time that one have to give to their profession and friends, friend and social circle and the time that they have to give to fulfill their liabilities towards others, problems in marital life generally creeps in. So about these things, they should be careful. When the seventh Lord goes into it, house, then generally while traveling also, people should be careful. These people can be victim of bulgarry and theft, so they should keep their things, you know, in proper security. Financial ups and downs are there. Traveling is not very much. Traveling is not recommended much. Living near birthplace, living in birthplace itself throughout the life is very good. These people can gain good amount of money through inheritance. But when the seventh Lord is afflicted in eighth house, then they generally lose all of their inheritance because of their ignorance. And when the seventh Lord is in eighth house in good condition, then generally because of inheritance, their life and their lifestyle and their status of life increases greatly. So accordingly, the choice should be made problems related to excretion, mental problems, being victim to black magic and negative energies, being attacked by enemies, being attacked by animals is very common. So about these also, they should be careful. When the seventh Lord goes into ninth house, generally this is a combination for more than one marriage. Right. So this thing is there. After marriage, there is great rise of luck and fortune. But the life partner is very strict and a disciplinarian, which can sometimes create problems and obstructions in the enjoyment of marital life as well. After marriage, great increase of name, fame, status, fine financial condition, promotions in job, etc. These things also come. But in marital life, there are lots of ups and downs for two, three weeks. Everything is very good, lovely, beautiful couple enjoy with each other. But the next fourth week, there is such a bitter fight that people think why I am living with this life partner. So such ups and downs are there. When ups are there, you enjoy it. When downs are there, have patience and try to avoid arguments at any cost. Otherwise, there can be great implications of it in life. Other than that, when the seventh Lord is going into ninth house, then generally, you know, in the life of these people, what happens that they achieve many things in four, five years. Then the next 10, 15 years are very silent without any significant achievement. Then again, two, three years come with great achievements. So such is the flow of the life. So these people, when they are achieving things or when they are having good time, do not get should not get bloated that I am having good time. I can achieve anything as such. This will be the flow of life is what that they should very, very clearly understand. Problems from government, punishment from government, problems because of displeasing some highly placed government officials or people related to dharma, etc. can be very problematic. So that should be kept in mind. Seventh Lord in 9000 daily visiting temple, cleaning temple, Donating to temple is also a very great remedy. And if that is done, it is very, very good. Generally, when the seventh Lord is in nine thousand, then person is also into social service. And because of social service, much name, fame, status, recognition they get. Generally, these people do well if they are living a little bit away, like not very far away from their birthplace, but 
living into neighboring cities or states are very beneficial for them and generally after the age of 40 45 great success achievement and stability comes in life when the seventh lord is going into 10th house and if the seventh lord is malefic then marital life is very bad pathetic one gets a disappointment in love and the marriage is only sustaining because the life partners need each other not because they love each other when the seventh lord goes into 10th house and this seventh lord is beneficial in this particular scenario seventh lord and seventh house is also a combination for love marriage seventh lord and 10th house beneficial planet becomes a combination for love marriage in this case there is real love between the couple they are not concerned about the status income or anything of the life partner but they love their life partner to great extent so much that they do not think any difference between themselves and their life partner these people and their life partners can do anything with each other and they support each other in each and every area they are like two bodies one soul type of a scenario is there after marriage great raj yoga comes increase in financial social professional status good income achievement in life person being successful is generally seen when the seventh lord is in the 10th house then making your life partner your business partner starting a business with your life partner or taking advice of your life partner in professional life is very very beneficial the seventh lord in 10th house these people should generally live in their homeland live near their homeland only this is good and generally after 40 years of age in life there is great success also in the initial 10 years of life between 20 to 30 years of age great name fame status is there but much achievement is not there only after the age of 40 achievement and stability is there marital life is very good life partner is a great support and all types of expectations that one have with their life partner gets fulfilled provided the fact seventh lord goes into 10th house and it is a beneficial planet in the case of malefic planet some differences there in prediction that i have already told you right so life partner is a great support financially mentally emotionally it is a great support seventh lord going into 11th house very good like all the wishes and desires that you have with respect to your life partner will get fulfilled life partner will be very beautiful very like pleasant to the eyes like you know there is a type of life partner that when you look at your wife or your husband all your tensions go away and you start feeling that how lucky i am this comes when the seventh lord is in 11th house the financial condition of life is wife part life partner wife husband is good because of which there is great support in life right life partner also belongs from a good family have good sanskaras, have good qualities, good nature, good behavior, which is also very good. Life partner is also very soft spoken, very kind hearted. So that is also very good. When the person follows the advice of the life partner regarding profession, regarding how to live life and what things to do, they become greatly successful. After marriage, name, fame, status, recognition increase. Their condition in their profession increases. Their income increases multifold and many good things are there. In fact, their life partner in themselves are very accomplished and very successful, which is of great help. Life, their life partners can do anything for them. Their life partners are completely dedicated and devoted to themselves. Like their life partners are completely dedicated and devoted to themselves. Like their life partner only live for them. They don't live they don't think their life partners don't think themselves as a separate entity but think these two themselves and you as one only so this is a very fortunate combination only in the case when the seventh lord in 11th house is a malefic then in childbirth etc there can be issues and you know like sometimes once in a blue moon once in 15 20 days fights can be there and because there is a lot of love this particular fight, you can feel like that if there is so much love, why we are fighting? So this can come as this can come as great disappointment, right? But that's not much of an issue because too much love is there. Even little bit of fight seems to be very, uh, you know, disturbing. But eventually, everything happens good only, and this is one of the best setup for the seventh lot to be in. So there is nothing to worry, right?
when the seventh lord goes into twelfth house, people generally think that it is a bad setup. It is not. Seventh lord and twelfth house. If you are living in a foreign land, it will give you good marriage. If your life partner is coming from a very different background, right? Coming from a different, you know, you say if, if coming from a different caste, creed, or religion, then it is good. See. The thing with 7th Lord and 12th house is that there are separation in marriage. Either there is a permanent separation. Of course, when the 7th Lord and 12th house is afflicted, then there is permanent separation divorce. If the 7th Lord and 12th house is not afflicted by malefics, not much afflicted in that particular scenario, separation is there because of family, because of the nature of job, because of professional commitments, etc. But it is not necessarily a very bad combination only. But one thing is there that when the seventh Lord is going into 12th house in marital life, there can be fights. There can be enmity and the life partner, rather than having a approach of complimenting each other can have the approach of, you know, competing with each other. So this problem can be there or there can be health issues to the life partner and the native himself will have health, health issues after marriage. So because of weakness and health issues, they cannot do things together. They cannot enjoy their marital life. This happens. If this happens, then the fight thing is not happening. And the separation thing is also not happening. If health problem thing is not happening, then in that scenario, either fight enmity thing will happen or separation thing will happen. Now, which of it will happen that you have to keep in mind, right? If the seventh Lord is going into 12th house, not much afflicted, then of course, separation is not going to happen in that particular scenario, either disease will happen or enmity will happen. Now enmity will only happen when it is influenced by malefic planets, specifically sixth Lord Mars, etc. Then enmity will happen. Health problem will not happen. On the other hand, if it is afflicted with malefics like Saturn Rahu, then in that particular scenario, disease related issues will happen. So this is something that will happen that should keep in mind. These people should keep on traveling. And if they settle at places other than their birthplace, then they are very fortunate. Then it is very, very good. Other than that problems related to legs, problems related to walking can be there about which they should be careful. Right. And generally, you know, between the mentality of the native and the mentality of the life partner, there is much difference of opinion and because of the profession, because of the family and because of the commitments already made or because of indispensable responsibilities, problems, etc. of understanding in marriage can be there, which the native have to manage properly. Otherwise, there can be great problems. Those people, because seventh Lord goes into 12th house, it will also give the flirtatious extramarital affair type nature to the native. If the native have this, then the divorce is very sure. But if the native can control this particular tendency, then seventh Lord and 12th house I see is a good combination. Also it gives good result as well. Right? So it is not a very challenging situation provided the fact that the person knows how to take care of it. Right. Rest everything else is okay. Life partner comes from a good family. Life partner and the family of the life partner can be of great financial help. Generally after marriage, some, mis some misfortune hits the native, hits the couple, which can make the marital life a little bit disturbed. But other than that, everything else is good. And in all these cases where I have told that there can be problems in marriage, you remember See, in very few areas, people have free will, right? Marriage is one of that area where you can exercise your free will. And our sages are very real, that very clear that by exercising free will, you should choose the right life partner through the way of matchmaking. And provided the fact that matchmaking is properly done and marriage is done into a proper mahurta, you know, it. 10 to 90% afflictions of the birth chart regarding bad marriage can be taken care of. And one can live at least a satisfactory. If the muhurta or the matchmaking is good, then at least a satisfactory. And if both are good, then happy marital life one can enjoy. Right. So 
don't worry much if you are having a bad combination working on the murta and matchmaking will be great relief and this i am telling you from my practical experience right thank you